So, in the previous video, I, I talked about what I kind of liked. In this video, I will uh, want to point out a few things that I kind of noticed. What kind of um, that have uh, kind of negative stuff, stuff that I do not like. The emergency brake, uh, it's electric right here, and sometimes when you engage it or disengage it. You have to press a couple of times in order for it to work now most of the times it works just fine but sometimes I know this you have to press it for like a second time in order for it to work not something major but it can get annoying sometimes seats in this in this car are very comfortable but they are very soft and because they are so soft you can see wear and tear on them. Car has 355 horsepower and it's a fast car, don't get me wrong. But it's not, I don't think that's um, the power of the car will wow you. It's very controlled power delivery. You don't feel like car can kill you. Because it weighs 4,000 pounds, a lot of the power of the car is diminished and there's also RS5, which is 400 something horsepower. So Audi didn't want to step on RS5 shoes. So this this 355 horsepower, it's it's fast, but it's not that fast. Very modest. If you had a car close to 300 horsepower, but with a lesser weight, I don't think power of this car will surprise you. But if you're coming from something very slow, like 200, 200 horsepower, then you'll definitely have fun on this car. Mm. What do you don't like in this car? Oh, I know where you're at. I don't like the manual. You have to sit much closer to the wheel. Guys, I know I said the power might not surprise you, but I take it back. It's kind of fun. God bless Audi, man. They they make perfect cars. In this car, to put it, kind of to summarize it, it, it's a good mix of sport and luxury. So you get best of both worlds. And uh, car is fun. Don't get me wrong. It's definitely, it's a very good looking car. This older model B8, when you look at it, it's just, I don't know. I like how older cars look compared to the newer ones, even though, you know, newer ones are supposed to be better, but that's just my opinion. Another thing, what you should know about this car. If you're buying this car, it's a V8, and you expect that it's not gonna eat a lot of gas, it's, you're wrong, it eats decent amount of gas and because it's manual and you have to go through gears yourself it's gonna take more than uh, automatic so if you drive normally you can get 20 22 miles per gallon but uh, most of the times you're gonna be paying for gas and you have to put 93 here the throws on this shifter are not they are not they are not the most precise throws not a big problem though because you get used to it and um, yeah but honestly it's not a big deal it's just the way it, the, the way it goes in into the gear that yeah not smooth but in terms of precision I never missed the gear exactly me so too 